haven't seen you in a while. Hey there, it's so good to see you from hot and humid Midwest. And here you are wearing a thing, even though it's hot and humid. Well, I know it was, it was 101 degrees, 103 with the heat index with 59% humidity. That's low for you. I, I just, it was, it feels a bit muggy, um, but where I podcast, so I had my little t-shirt on. Time to unwind. Time to unwind. Um, but it was, it was, I was a little teeny bit chilly in my short sleeves down here in my basement. So With the air on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And that's your fade. This is my fade. And it Find your fade perfect. by and- Andrea Mowry. Yep. And it is perfect to cover, um, my arms it's nice. nice and toasty warm without being too hot and it is huge so it works and being that we live in wyoming where usually it's not as hot but it has been in recent years but we don't have the humidity that you do we don't have air conditioning so i'm not yeah i'm just in my like crappy old navy t-shirt from you know 10 years ago <laughs> it's warm out there though too isn't it it is, and it has been. I'm looking up our humidity. We don't usually have, um, our humidity is not anywhere near yours. Mm-hmm. 33%. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. But still, you know, once you get close to 100, hot is hot. And I'm not, I'm not <laughs> hot, is, hot is hot. That's I mean, true. humidity certainly makes it worse. Absolutely. But it's still hot. I mean, it's still a little bit warm, but I'm not knitting outside. So I was this weekend and it was difficult. I was working on this little sock and fingering because, you know, I'm knitting my socks in DK right now, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But my hands got a little sweaty and I had to periodically go to the restroom at the place where I was and like just rinse off with a little cold water just so I didn't Mm -hmm. feel sticky. Yeah. It was. Knit in public day on Saturday. I know. Did you knit in public? Well, sort of public. We were at a local, like, community yard sale. And we were at this building that's like a counter. It's kind of like a community hall. So we were outside. So, yeah, I guess that's public because people were coming and going. Not like a lot of people, but <laughs> a few. Right. Did you? Nice. We were visiting family um, a few hours from where we live. My daughter and I did, and we were on the farm. So nice. I knit on the farm. What kind Yesterday of farm? Yesterday I took the girls to the park. Um, just a farmette is how I've heard it referred to. So, so no it have chickens. No, because there's a bald eagle nest oh. <laughs> close. They used to have chickens. Until the eagles had some snacks? Until the eagles decided this is a great place to, to make a home. Chicken there's nuggets. Lots of, there's lots of food here. Yes. <clears throat> well, yeah, they're raptors. I mean, that's opportunist for sure. Yes. Yes, you yes. can't blame them for that. Well, gardens and the beginning of an orchard and sometimes hey. chickens. And yes, they will inherit chickens from um, neighbors sometimes. Nice. So I didn't inherit any chickens, but I got chickens. <gasps> you did. Tell I us did. about your chickens. Well, I don't know if you follow. You probably missed it on Instagram because you work a lot. But in my stories. Yes. So we got. I saw them. the babies. Yeah. Yeah. They were on clearance. They were like regularly $4.99 and their ISO, I don't know what that means, sex link something. And they're a hybrid chicken that's this and this crossed and then bred for egg production. And apparently mm-hmm. these particular chickens can lay like 320 eggs a year. And I'm like, okay. Anyway, I don't know. You know, people like the little baby fluffy chickens that are all yellow and cute, but that's fine, but they're sort of fragile. And sometimes they just like face plant and fall over and that's that. They do. They sometimes do. These chickens that we saw at, at the local feed store place were like, 
they already had most of their feathers and they're like two weeks old and they're starting to like hop out they have them in the stock tank you know and they're hopping Mm -hmm. on the water thing and they're trying to like get out and run around the store and the gal who's in charge of that department she's like i need these to go away i will mark them down considerably if you would like to take them home i'm like really how much and she's like dollar a piece and i'm like okay (laughs) so right there and normally they're 4.99 and their pullets means they're all girls so there's no like roosters sneaking in Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. yeah because you know when you order from a hatchery and you get them sent in the mail like they're usually straight run which means you have no idea whether you're getting girls or boys or a mix of both or what these were absolutely girls or pullets so i was all happy about that so there were nine of them and they're doing fine and they've that's fantastic they've grown considerably i mean i can tell they're bigger yeah and they're running around eating bugs and doing their thing. the things that chickens do when will they begin to lay usually when they're six ish months old they might have their first Correct. little pullet pullet eggs you know they're smaller eggs than mm-hmm. when they're mature mm-hmm. but yay yeah six six to eight months old i think usually nice so yeah. i'll you know, let you know because i'll be all excited about it i know when it, happens. it is it's yeah. fun we had Get friends egg. with chickens and they would give us eggs and i'd put them i'd hard boil them and put them in my daughter's lunch and she thought she was real cool because sometimes she'd take an olive colored egg or like they had easter eggers like with like light blue egg or the silkies like these teeny tiny eggs so she had like these baby hard boiled eggs yeah. it was just fun it is i remember when my daughter was in kindergarten she used to take a hard boiled egg every day she did not like the yolk, hated it. Most kids, it's the other way around. My kid, mm-hmm. nope. She peels off the white part, eats that. The yolk stayed in the lunchbox and came back home. <laughs> like, okay. I found out later that my daughter traded the colored eggs for other things, <laughs> for like stuff that I wouldn't buy at, at home. So, <laughs> yeah, found that out later from another mama whose daughter was eating hard boiled eggs at lunch. That's funny. I think I have my sweater on backwards. I do. Looks great. See, that's the thing about things like that. It really doesn't matter what side's out. I mean, it all looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So show us what else you're working on. What else am I working on? Oh, wait. Let me say one more thing. Let me say one more thing about the farm thing. I can't do it all. I had a separate farm account on Instagram. I just can't do two Instagram accounts. I can't. So if people want to know about the farm stuff, just follow Pearl together like normal because Celtic Prairie Farm, I mean, it's out there, but my last post was come over here to Pearl together because I can't, I just can't. <laughs> I can't do two Instagram accounts. It's too hard. I don't have time no, for that. No, especially during this season. Holy cow. There's a lot going hard. on. Here it is, June 13th, and we have just barely finished planting all the things. So our finger is crossed. We do not have an early snow this year because some stuff we have put in, you know, late. Mm -hmm. But it's just how it is. We had our first salad out of our garden, though. That was nice last night. And we have successive lettuce and spinach planting, you know, like two weeks, then two weeks, another bad little, but and then two weeks, you know. So that's nice. Yeah. Anyway, follow Pearl together. The other one's going to go away at some point. I just can't. That's fun. I live in the city and I live in a place where I could probably have a garden, but we, there are occasional things that eat gardens like oh, like raccoons garden. and stuff yeah oh yeah we've got raccoons yeah. we've got raccoons occasion a long time ago i mean occasionally we've seen a deer tons of yeah you'd have to be stuff. able to fence them out or i know with deer you can get this stuff that's organic it's called liquid fence mm-hmm. and it's basically smells like a rotten eggs because that's what's in it that's the primary ingredient and you spray that diluted with water you'd spray that arm um, in a perimeter around your garden and eventually the deer would learn that yeah that's not so appetizing Hmm. Mm -mm. and they move on i think by the time i did the fence and tilling up and all those pieces that my i could probably have purchased my homegrown tomato from the farmer's market from a local farmer so that's what we did i went in with a friend on a share to a csa it's like a surprise every thursday 
We go, That's what's in the fantastic. box? Fantastic. Mm-hmm. And so I'm for viewers doing... that don't know, can you explain what a CSA means? Community supported agriculture? Yes, that is okay. correct. Yes. But explain so how that I, works. Some people don't I, know. I pay a fee at the beginning of the year and they use it to plant their crops and such. And then every week beginning, oh, started a couple weeks ago and through the fall, I get to pick up a bag of goodies on Thursday. And typically it's whatever's in season. And I am so excited. Yeah. It's like a mystery. So how and do I, they do that? Do they, do they decide like you're going to get a minimum of like four things each week minimum or like... I mean, you would have to have some notion of like the quantity that you're paying for each Mm -hmm. time. I was just curious how that worked. Well, I have not read all the details because the friend had children at home and those children have moved away to college and they loved it, but they couldn't eat the oh, so you're sharing. I see piece that they had. So, so I'm sharing. Cool. But I'm looking forward to eating things that I may not have ever eaten before, you know, like, um, scapes. Is it garlic scapes? Yeah. 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 So nice. just different things that I'll get to try. So that'll be fun. Cool. So we should watch your Instagram for that. Oh, maybe I thought about that. I mean, I, I think it's interesting yarn on there. I have nothing but yarn. I showed a quilt a couple of weeks ago, but that's it. Other than yeah. that, it's just yarn. That's okay. Cool. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your quilt was amazing. So that's why I don't have a lot of knitting. I did two quilts in may we'll go back so if viewers want to see this quilt it's fantastic go back to jill's instagram at kitchen table knits and see the quilt because it is fantastic yeah Yeah. that was for my son for his high school graduation congratulations it just happened so congratulations to him it just happened and then one for my nephew did a t-shirt quilt for my nephew so but i kept up with my socks So, so show us okay so it looks like you are knitting as well right now. I'm not oh, yeah, knitting. I right am now. because I'm behind. Because I kind of have doing. to. I'm behind. <laughs> I don't know if you can call it behind when you're knitting two sweaters at the same time. Well, okay. But I'm behind on what I had hoped to get done for my, so, so viewers know that we're, we do Lauren at a girl in her world. We do her sock club. And so we try to knit a pair of socks each month, but in May, because I was knitting two sweaters at a time and I still am, by the way, I did not finish them yet, but I was, you know, videoing quite a lot and trying to get a bunch of stuff done in May. I did not complete my May socks. So they're still going. Look at them. So those are your May. So these are. Yeah, these are for May. So I'm not spoiling anything, but this is the DK colorway for, for May. And I'm still doing it. I'm, I'm just knitting. These are for my daughter. They're not for me because she just saw it and really liked the colors. And so I'm going up and so I'm just, you know, I'm weighing. So when I get down to the 50 grams, which I have a little ways to go, then I'll start on the second one. When I get the 50 grams on this, then I'll do a bit of a contrast cuff. Just a few rows. I like the pattern. It's pretty. Oh, this is just the vanilla latte. I find I really like it. I do it as kind of my version of vanilla, just mm-hmm. because it's, uh, although I have been doing vanilla, vanilla, you know, just round and round. But this is my, what'd you call it, caramel? This is <laughs> my chocolate pattern, where it's not quite vanilla, but it's pretty dang easy. Nice. Yeah. And tell us about your heel. Oh, this is the, the fish lips kiss. Yo, you can't do that. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I'm smiling. I was kind of laughing. You can't do it when I'm smiling. Yeah, it's true. And you, I mean, you can see why it's called that, mm-hmm. you know, now several people have talked about the shadow wrap heel. So what I'd like to do at some point is actually sit down with it side by side and compare the difference between fish lips, kiss shadow wrap. Mm-hmm. So that might be interesting because they're very similar. That would be a fun video. Yeah. Fish Lips Kiss is a copyrighted pattern, so I wouldn't, I mean, it might be something we talk about in class instead of on a video. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And then the June colorway, people can look at with yours. I have not started yet, and here it is the 14th, and I haven't started. Must knit faster, sleep less, knit more. 
Well, I'm excited because I get to wear my socks now because I don't wear my socks until I show them on the podcast. And I still have April socks. Oh my gosh. I so know. I so these are April and I just do vanilla, vanilla. Love it. And I decided to do a toe and a cuff this time. Looks great. Yep. So two vanilla, vanilla socks. And but yours are all nicely blocked. This, you know, it's interesting because I have a different, another sock and it's not blocked. And it was interesting looking at the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And I just blocked them the first time. Yeah. And then you wear them and yeah. And then I wear them and then they're worn. Yeah. Yeah. So that was April. And then these are my May. See, and don't mine look darker than yours? Uh, I don't know. No? Well, I think it might be have to do with the lighting of our, the lighting okay. of our rooms. Okay. One thing that I have loved is there's subtle nuances between mm-hmm. the skeins. And that's always been fun to say, hey, did you get your, did you get your yarn today? Oh yeah. What does yours look like? Yeah. What does yours look like? So. Yes. Yeah. And because it's all hand dyed works, little works of art. It, there, oh, is it very, is. there is variables between my skein and yours and so forth. And that's, what's cool about it. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, whatever one I finished, I usually have hanging on the wall. That's that you can't see. I have a little pegboard. And so I put these up and it just makes me happy. It is like art. Yes. So that's April, May. And I have June. I am working on June. It is a bit of a lot of string here right now because I put them in the car with me. Yes. And if I'm in a place where I'm stopped, then sometimes I knit. Like the McDonald's drive up. Yes, very much so. Every morning to get my diet, Dr. Pepper. Except they've gotten very efficient. So it's really cutting into my knitting time. <laughs> you don't get long enough to knit, right? No, too efficient, darn it. That's funny. Beginning to hire Ooh. people. Not. So this is the color. Here, I'll and- show mine in the skein at the same time. Yeah. But see, I feel like I have more reddish and you have more of this. I do. Yes, I don't see a ton of red in mine. Yeah. And that's what interesting. I know. And the picture that Lauren posted was, it looked like a paint box. So it was all black with like bright little specks of paint. And so I, the other thing that I do, and I don't think I posted this one yet. I always, um, I oh, put it out cool. so I can see what the skein looks like. That's neat. Yeah, mine does have that spot of pink at the top. Yeah, and mine's more mine's more of a dark wine color. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It is. It's just yeah. fun to see. And then this is the contrast that's with it. Oh, yeah. Nice. The contrast is beautiful. I love the contrast. Yeah, I kind of want a whole skein of that. Mm-hmm. August 2021 is what I want. Well, now the other day, Karen, when we were at knit night, she said, is that the same? And I said, "Mm, not quite. And I got it down and we looked and yeah, no, not so much. So you have your August. Yes, I do. I actually had it behind me. This girl in her wool color of all time. I I mean, I... mm, Every time we say that, she comes out with something else. And then I'm like, no, wait, this one's the best. No, 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 wait. This well, one. I think I missed it. Today she put on her Instagram, like, you know, give me some ideas for July colors. And I had fantastic ideas, but I was traveling for work and I couldn't put it on because I thought, ooh, one could be called road trip. Because while well, I was looking and I thought highway, because all I saw was this dark, like asphalt highway which is like blacky brown but then it had the spots of white but since it's summer it had these bright splashes of green on the sides oh and then in the distance I even took a picture because then you see the sky so it's like this baby blue and then it ties in that white and that and I she could name it road trip did you send it no because I was driving well now though well now I'm podcasting (laughs) okay yeah so anyway, if it's still up there, I'll put it in there. Road trip. 
Cool. So was it in her stories then? And then I'd have to purchase it. It was in her stories. I'll look. I'll look after. Nice. So yeah, yeah, that's June. So this, yep. So this is June and this is how it comes. This is how it is knitting up. I love it. I, I really, really like it. I was, I loved it in the skein and I liked it when it was out. I wasn't sure how it was going to, how I was going to feel about it when it knit up. Right. And I don't know if you ever start a project and you're like, hmm, I can't decide. I need to knit more. <laughs> and I absolutely love it so much. So, and I love this contrast. I mean, look, I didn't realize it was so close. You're right. And it is, it is different. It is not, yeah. it is not like it's that. Not quite, it's more purpley than pinky. Mm-hmm. And this one has like some, some pale it has some lavender and some black and some pale blues and grays and this doesn't have that but I started and I got almost all the way done with my slip stitch heel and then I pulled it all out I made a bunch of yarn ramen because I love this color and I love this color but I felt that my eyes kept wanting to go toward this right instead of this and I loved this and that's cool and that's why you're the boss of your knitting. I mean, I and think you got to do what you feel is best at the time. It's for going to make a beautiful stripe in another one. Because I still have like remainders of this. Oh. I know. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay. Do you remember? Now I am knitting a pair of socks and fingering a girl in her wool. Mm-hmm. And this was last June, I think. Last June. That was the... Tulips one. No. But it was multicolored because that was the first one I did was May or June. Okay. This was last June and it came yes. with a green. Yes. I wasn't I'm not sure how I feel about the green. It looks cool. It looks cool with it here, but I'm knitting this for a friend and she knows that it's coming. It's, um, and so I took a photo with it like this. And then I had some other minis that I had from like, that national parks kit that I countdown box for over the holidays mm-hmm. there. And I had several minis. So I put, and this colorway is awesome because there's so many different things going on that it looks fantastic with lots of different yes. minis. And so she chose a different mini. Oh, fun. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Yes. Oh my gosh. So I'm actually using and again, toe up vanilla latte, kind of my vanilla chocolate. Yes. So this is the June from last year fingering, not DK. Yeah. So this is for our English, our favorite English teacher. Aw. I love that then I have big plans for the minis. I just need some more hours to be able to knit all of my big plans. I still <laughs> we all. have to- I, I made mine too, just the regular, the same ones that you're talking about. Yeah. So I still have that green. So there's some fantastic striped socks coming. Eventually. So that's really fun. And, th- and that's what I really like about Lauren's club is that if you're, mm-hmm. you have enough yarn to do what you want. And if you decide not to use the mini, you just like set it aside. And then you have a little collection of minis to knit fun stuff with like hats or other socks. Can I tell you my dilemma? Yes. My dilemma is that now that I've been doing DK, I have six or seven pair of DK socks now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, how many DK pair do I need? Do I need to go back to fingering? But if I did that, would I get them all done? Would I get it done in within the month or would I not? I know. I know. Well, and then I... I was doing really, really well. I was getting my socks done every month. And then like, and I had a bigger project going on. And then I started because her colors of the month are great too. So I started like getting like one of those. (laughs) And so, so I still have, so May, I got May done by the skin of my teeth, just because graduation season, the two quilts. Huge. You were so busy. Skin of my teeth. So what I had been working on and had to put down Oh. was the oh my gosh look at this that's beautiful <gasps> oh that's beautiful it just looked really really great till you held it up closer and then we got to see the purple and it went oh my gosh nice. it's gorgeous this is called london fog 
I had had my eye on this color for a very, very, very long time. Um, and I won a skein of yarn. Boring. Yeah, you won the Instagram drawing. And see, that's yeah, the thing. If you get your socks done, you post on in- Instagram using the appropriate hashtags, then she does a drawing. So oh, that's what all, and then of course we all try to get done because of the rewards program. I'll li- I'll put links to all that down below. But I mean, I know this is starting to sound like the Lauren show, but we <laughs> love her yarn. <laughs> it's I mean, it's it's happy. So so I have those going and I stopped these. I'm on the second sock. I stopped these to finish the May and I didn't get to pick them up because it's already June. We're recording on June 13th. So I'm going to have to bust those out. Yeah. And now I've just, I was showing you this. So I'm just sitting here knitting on it because <laughs> I had it in my hands, but I know. And then <sighs> everybody's knitting the sweater. Well, I mean, you've had other things to do, but I've been knitting the sweater. And so I'm knitting the sweater. This is my sweater. That's <laughs> gonna be lovely. So that I mean, I have that for my sweater, but it's just not started yet. It's not as warm this way. So. It's fine, and that's the thing: is if people haven't started their sweater, it's totally no big deal. I mean, the knit along can go on however long. The videos will be able will be available indefinitely on my channel. So, I mean, don't be discouraged if you didn't start when we all cast on it's fine do it now i really am gonna get my self together and post prizes and a finished object thread in the girl together ravelry group i'm a little behind on that but you know what i found i found when i sort of kind of cleaned my desk and now i don't know where it is but i found a couple of project bags oh that were made by you and maybe Uh i'll no well yeah that too but one of the ones from the little zipper oh the little purple zipper mine is upstairs yes so like this only solid color nice the one that fits socks no small no before the year before that a notions bag fun i always try to do purple so it's all like all the same and that so watch for that i will have that on my list to do this week um yeah do you want to show us do you have a sweat yeah Yeah. oh i want okay so i am doing i'm working on the body of mine that's why we're podcasting this week because we're having a sweater pause and videos while i because i was on vacation now i'm back so i'm knit, knit 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 trying to get caught up i do have another sweater that i have only one sleeve left so oh my god when we get to the pick up the sleeve part i might use that one to video with because it's further along <laughs> okay so you know how i was doing my own striping sequence mm-hmm. oh look at that it's shifted it is yeah and i even put it on and I think it's going to be awesome. Nice. Yeah. I'm, and of course, this is Lauren's A Girl in Her Wool DK, and it's lovely. 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 Oh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And the this is dark gray with before the rain. Mm-hmm. I almost said after the rain. I'm like, nope, that's the <laughs> pattern. Before the rain is the yarn. Yes. So you got to have the yarn before the pattern pattern comes after anyway so i'm happy about that oh my gosh that's fantastic Great movie knitting oh and i'm i'm watching a show that has it's in sweden swedish and it has english subtitles so it's cool because i just go round and round and round and i can like read the subtitles while i'm going around and around yeah i got a lot done last night stayed up too late because it's it's like a mm, cop murder mystery kind of thing and i was sort of like you had to Even find out what titles. <laughs> you had to find out what happened. Yeah. So. Right. All right then. You oh, are you knitting your sweater? Do you have more than one color, or are you going to do a solid? Because you held up that cascade, but it was just one color. Mm-hmm. I am thinking it may be a solid. Oh. Right now, it may be a solid. Okay. So. 
Yes. Cool. So we will, we will see. I don't. And now I just want to make sweaters. Like, you know, <laughs> like I, I have all these minis and I just want to make sweaters. Like I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a good wrap. Okay. But I'm never quite sure how to wear it. And I, maybe I just need to make sweaters instead because you know, it's easier than trying to decide how to twist yourself up in a wrap. I was, I was looking at advent patterns, trying to figure out if I could do a sweater, if I got her the um, advent calendar. But I didn't say to me, I ordered it for myself for my birthday last week. I am so, I did see that. That's so exciting. I did. I ordered it for myself. I'm like, I think I'm going to do that. Yay. Did you get it in fingering or DK? Or worsted? I think I ordered fingering in 30 gram minis oh wow because I, I thought well if I knit a sweater I could make socks to match <laughs> <laughs> we just need more time you know. <laughs> That's it. I know we just need more time we don't have too much yarn we just don't have enough time I bet there are other people in that spot too I'm pretty sure everyone feels that way yeah well because so so um a couple june when i thought i was going to have a ton of time i did buy um one of the colors of the month which is called iron iron sharpens iron oh that's cool yeah lovely that's it'll be cool. really neat because yeah. i was thinking if i had ordered soon enough i was thinking ooh, i could do after the rain in this one. Oh. Mm-hmm yeah yeah but so I, here's a question for you so, anywho yeah do you ever like get well no you tend to finish more things okay you know how i have this whip problem so i have whips and then i'll be like eh, i don't know and they'll sit there a while and then i'll be like i don't know if i'm digging it and then i just tear it out <laughs> i it's okay it's okay it is i like have to in it. I can't have too much stuff going at once. I cannot have too much stuff going at once because it just, I, I get, and that's what I'm going to try. I'm trying to get better about that. And so there's a couple of things that were just languishing and I wasn't feeling it. I'm like, you know what? I can repurpose this yarn. I'm fine with that. I, it, you know, and then people say, well, what about all the time you spent? Well, I like knitting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. I was visiting with my kids or I was watching a show or I, it's fine. Or I learned a new technique. It's okay. And you're not going to finish it when you don't want to just because it's there. That's not what it's for. Sometimes. Hey. Yeah. Sometimes going backwards is forwards progress. Yes. Tell myself that a lot when I'm learning something new. Well, and then I was kind of like, well, okay, is there somebody I could give this to? I'm like, I really, because either it would be the wrong size or the wrong colors or I don't know. You don't know if they're going to like it or not anyway. You just don't give it to some random relative. <laughs> You're like, and then that's awkward for them. <laughs> Here. <laughs> this yeah. 2,000 yard wrap. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Better I should just repurpose all that and make something. No, else. my... The circle that I knit for has become a little smaller. Oh. No, just because, because. Oh. <laughs> no, nobody, no, nothing like that. Like. <laughs> okay. Meaning you're a little more selective about who you knit for. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they, they, they're not all. Ooh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. No, but my, I have, I have become more selective in who I knit for. I could say that, or I have become more realistic about my time. That too. Both, both can be true. And I want it to be fun. I don't want to be so stressed out that I have to get a knit done by a certain date. Like if I, if I schedule too much, then I don't want it to take the joy out of that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So, yay. So watch our Instagrams so you can see what we get done or don't get done. I need to start posting again. You've been that. busy. It's okay. That quilt took my mojo was all that unless people I could here's my sock. Three days later, here's my sock. <laughs> Here again is my sock. If I don't show anything but the sock and yarn, um, yeah, it's kind of bare there. You know what I might do? I might show this this week. I might get around to uh okay, so this is old and look. So so I'm going to, this was my daughter's and, you know, here we are, same vanilla, kind of a mm-hmm. caramel vanilla latte, but this was probably, I don't know, three, four years ago, I forget. And so I need to, I might still have this yarn in my scrap bin. Obviously it won't be faded and, you know, halfway felted together, but I'm going to Go back and look at my darning video and remember how I taught myself to do that. Sometimes okay. I have to watch my own videos. <laughs> you are going to laugh. Okay. So when we podcast, I kind of, I have a little table and I put yeah. everything that I intend to speak about on the table. Sometimes I get to it. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes the, conver- the flow of conversation doesn't get there. Look, look what I was going to talk about today. I am not kidding. Yay. I know because I have two socks with holes. That, and I've been waiting for your video and I just got one. Yours I is think, I think this was my grandmother's. Oh, I mean, it's wow. all scuffed up. See how it's buggered? Uh-huh. Like that's not design. That's buggered up. I mean, it's old. I'm not even, I mean, there's like, look, it's all buggered. See? Oh my gosh. Yeah. This, well, I mean, I'm not exactly sure where this came from. If it but it's been kicking around for years and years and years between my mom's house and my house. But yeah. Um, there is a local yarn store close to Lindsay. And mm-hmm. one time she had these, but I wasn't a sock knitter then. And a local gentleman made them. And so she posted on her Instagram a while ago, she had four of them in the shop. And I, can you hold one for me, please? And so she did. And they wow. were all just a little bit different. And I just picked it up about three days ago. Nice. So I am super excited to watch your video. But then I decided I before you said something, I'm like, well, if I talk about it, then I really have to get it done. I'm <laughs> so that we next. can show, so we can I show. I can't not. Yeah. So there's, so I will be. So I will link that video down below if people are interested. Mine is a knitted patch. It's not the, the woven thing, you know, where you basically go, you know, over, under, over, under, and it's a woven patch with the darning needle. A lot of people do that over, over and under thing. Mine is not like that. It's actually a knitted patch that you, well, you'll have to watch, but you knit it on. You don't knit it and then sew it on. You knit it while you're attaching it. So watch the video. And I'll have to go watch the video again because I don't do it enough to remember. <laughs> what is your preference that you like the knitted patch more than the woven patch? Because it's for? knitting. <laughs> well, here's no, I mean, not to be sarcastic. Well, okay, you know I'm sarcastic, but <laughs> but the other patch it's woven, which is fine. But I personally, I don't think that at least the way I've tried to do it in the past, it doesn't end up being a tight enough weave to be very durable. Oh, okay. Whereas I know that I can knit it close to the same gauge that it was originally, so mm-hmm. that it will be more durable than my loose woven kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's just my personal preference because it's weaving, not knitting. Yeah. But, you know, people have to do what works best for them. And I know that there's a, Katrinkles has this little darning wheat loom Mm -hmm. kind of thing. And that works really well for some people. That's cool. Yeah. It's all yarny goodness. So I know when I have two new pair of socks I can wear. That's awesome. I know. I'm super excited. I oh, I really need to get on. I need to start making some socks for my husband too, because winter's coming. I mean, I say that it's the middle of June and it's like hundred degrees, but no, but like socks, are, socks and slippers, as we've said many times are great things to knit during the summer because you're not holding a whole sweater on your lap. 
Mm -hmm. So I'll show you this real quick. This is what he's going to have for his next oh, pair. Oh, wow. These were on sale a while ago at littlenits.com. And mm -hmm. this is like almost DK. It's kind of a sport weight. It's a six ply. And there's, it's 150 gram ball. Oh, nice. And he has big feet. So I'll probably do him toe up and knit till I run out because he has a men's 13. So there you go. And, you know, I don't know that he particularly likes stripes, but it's what I have. So. Okay. I know. Mm. Oh, you have socks you I can have. wear now. I do. I'm super excited. I have two more pair of socks. So I would love to know what people want to knit next. We're working on the sweater knit along. That's going to go for a couple more weeks, probably till the end of the month, at least. And, you know, we might do some other stuff at the beginning of July, but what do you want to be our next group knit along thing? Like yes. drop a comment. Let me know what your ideas are, what you might like to learn. August slippers have dibs in August. Well, I know you can make slippers, but like I've already done the videos for that. I know. I know. Man. More but time. I, do need, I need to make myself some more slippers for sure. This so. is going to be a year for slippers for me. Thanks Wonderful. for joining me. Thank you for asking. It was a lovely visit. Yes. Okay. We'll put all the links down below. Okay. And we'll see you next time. Next week, we'll go back to sweater knitting for our video next week. And then we'll podcast again in a little while. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.